If you feel in your spirit that you are in your marital season, but you are really not sure where to start from when it comes to preparing for it, then this video is perfect for you. Hello elegant ladies, welcome to today's video. My name is Ayani May and today's video is such an important one because it marks a semi-turning point on this channel. A lot of what I share with you here is an indicator of where I am in my life and lessons that I have learned from my past experiences. And I do this because I want you to not make the same mistakes I made and I want you to make better choices and be better prepared as you continue to transform your life and level up. There will be some changes to this channel and it's all a part of that because moving forward I will begin including content that has to do with Christian dating, specifically preparing for marriage. Yes, you guessed right, I have stepped into my marital season and I must tell you I am so excited for this phase of my life. My mind is ready, my spirit is at peace and as I prepare I am learning so much through books, classes, teachings and even spiritually. And I want to share that with you because I know that there are ladies here who are also in that season of their lives. I also know that you may not be there yet but it is never too early to start preparing especially if marriage is something you deeply desire and if you are already married this is such a wonderful opportunity to share your experience and knowledge with us. Ladies for this to be impactful to you I have to share a part of myself that I am very private about and that is my spiritual life because a lot of my wisdom and insight is from the place of prayer. So as exciting as this is, it is also very terrifying because I don't know how this is going to be received, but I'm going to pass through and go ahead with it. So to round up this very, very long intro, this channel will now cover topics about elegance, etiquette, femininity, leveling up, and Christian dating. I will also start to share a bit about my lifestyle and add more vlogs to it to make it entertaining as much as educating. So ladies, no matter where you are in your level up or transformation journey, there will be something for you on this channel. Whew. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's quickly jump into today's topic, which is less a topic and more of a prayer to lay the foundation. If you feel in your spirit that you are in your marital season, but you're really not sure where to start from when it comes to preparing for it, then this video is perfect for you. The Bible verse I will be using as a reference is a very common one and it is from Proverbs 18 verse 22. It says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. A very common Bible verse. But when I was fasting and praying a few weeks ago, the Holy Spirit gave me a deeper insight to this Bible verse and that's what I'll be sharing with you. We will look at it keyword by keyword. The first keyword in today's video is find. He who finds. Your marital season starts with you being found you need to be discovered and noticed by the right man. And believe it or not, the devil is roaming around trying to stop that from happening. But we really don't care about him and his works because God is with us. Being found is so important because you could be friends or even colleagues with your husband without even knowing. It could also be that he is already in your life but doesn't really see you as someone who can be his wife. So with this understanding, your first prayer point, our first prayer point, has to revolve around divine visibility and connection. I am going to share a sample prayer point that covers this point. You can expand on it as the Holy Spirit leads. The prayer point says, Father, I decree that I am found by my future partner. Every covering that hid me from him is torn apart and every covering over his eyes that has hindered him from seeing me as his wife is torn apart. I am no longer hidden. Wherever and whoever he is, by divine master plan, we find each other. If we are already in each other's lives, Father, open our eyes and give us wisdom and discernment. If he is not in my life already, by your spirit, bring us together, whether through friends, social media, a social event, or a chance meeting. You do not lack ways. The light and glory of God rests on me and makes me visible. Amen. Whew, this is so different for me. Sharing this part of myself with you is different. It really is. Now the second keyword, and that is wife. He who finds a wife. 
Once you step into your marital season, your identity in the dating world also has to change. The way you carry yourself, your mindset, the sort of treatment you permit from men, and the type of relationships you go into also has to change. You are essentially a wife-to-be, and with that understanding, let's look at the second prayer point. Father, I am not for casual relationships. I am not for friends with benefits. I am not a side chick. I am not for the short term and I am not to be used and forgotten. I am a wife. So every negative identity I acquired in error or through my actions or the one the devil attached to me is cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Sweet Holy Spirit, help me shed off every habit character or personality trait that does not align with my new identity. From today, I identify as a wife and with your help, I begin to live a life that signifies and aligns with that. Amen. Hmm, I'm beginning to get into it now. And if you're loving this video, take a moment to click on the like button and also leave a comment in the comment section. Keyword number three is a good thing. He who finds a wife finds a good thing. What I love about this particular keyword is that it has the ability to affirm you, to boost your self-esteem and self-confidence. Such a simple but powerful phrase. A good thing so you need to start looking at yourself as a good thing some bible versions use the word treasure which i love so much so as christian ladies let's face out the phrase i am the prize and replace it with i am a good thing i am a treasure you need to say these words as an affirmation so you can begin to change the way you see yourself and begin to see yourself the way god sees you you are a good thing and with that let's look at prayer point number three dear Father in heaven, a good thing is treasured, loved, and valued, and by your word, I am a good thing. Please help me see myself as a treasure. Help me see myself as worthy of love and romance, worthy of being protected and provided for, worthy of a wonderful husband. Help me not settle for less than I deserve, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, my value is seen and I will no longer attract men who do not see my value or know how to treat me and love me right. From today going forward, I will only attract men who will treasure me because I am a good thing. Amen. And the final keyword is favor and obtains favor from the Lord. Ladies, becoming a wife to a godly, wonderful, and wholesome man is a big responsibility. And it starts with your own personal growth and healing so that you are prepared for it. The phrase obtains favor from the Lord is dependent on you being a wholesome woman, a woman who knows how to add value. As humans, we are carrying around so much hurt hurt, pain, trauma, and baggage. And if you do not begin to sort through them and heal from them, you can actually become a source of pain, regret, and destruction to a good man. Your formative years as a child and your dating phase as an adult is when the most damage can be done or is done to you. And you need to heal from all of that. Ladies, it is a must. You have to shed certain mindsets, character traits, let go of pain, fear, guilt, or this mindset that there are no good men or that men are scum. Because all of that comes from trauma. You need to let it all go. Start therapy if you have to. Talk to the Holy Spirit. Begin to actively heal. Because when you start doing this, you will approach your dating to marry phase with joy and excitement and not fear. You will also become a wholesome woman so that when you finally meet this good man, you will have so much to offer him. Because that is where that phrase obtains favor from God comes in. Now let's look at the final prayer point. Father, I do not want to be a source of pain, regret, or destruction to my future partner. I want to become a wholesome person. Help me heal from my past trauma so that I can truly be a blessing to the good man you will bring into my life. By virtue of having me in his life, God's 
favor and blessings reign in his life. And sweet Holy Spirit, with your wisdom, help me choose the right man as I do not want a man who will be a source of pain to me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. There you have it ladies. Now the question of the video. How has this video impacted you today? Let me know in the comments. Next week's video, you will learn how to stay feminine while being assertive so that you do not resort to masculine traits to communicate your boundaries. Oh wow, it's starting to rain. Let's quickly round up. And until next week's video, I'm going to leave a card right here to a video where I share with you signs you become emotionally weak once you fall in love and how you can become emotionally stronger. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and also share it with somebody who will find it valuable. As always, be kind to yourself and I'll see you in that video.